This week we're going to talk about menopause and strength training and why it's so important to lift heavy stuff in menopause. So I am grateful that I found CrossFit when I was 40 because that enabled me to learn how to lift heavy things. In CrossFit we do lots of barbell work, squats, uh, basically like strength training and uh, now I realize this is very important going on in the menopause journey. So basically what happens is estrogen and the drop in estrogen is what is responsible for the decrease in the ability to create muscle and keep it so we are kind of fighting it and also that affects our ability to um, have strong healthy bones um, and the, estrogen is responsible for both of these things both very important um, what they know is uh, and and I guess like if you look at the natural progression of human beings from zero or birth to 20 that is when we are in a building phase, our, our bones are building, our, we're building our strength and our muscles. From 20 to 50 years of age, we're kind of in a plateau stage where we are, um, I guess, just fundamentally, hopefully, still building muscle and, um, you know, keeping it in good shape. And then from 50, there's a a, a large decline especially in women and that is due to the drop in estrogen um, there is a decline in men not as rapidly as it is for women and it's definitely related to estrogen and obviously our transition through menopause so what can we do about that we can lift heavy stuff so if you are already fit and exercising but you are not uh, doing some sort of strength training really encourage you to start and it's never too late to start uh, a, a recent well a study was done with 70 i think they were i, I should i'll have to pull the study up um 60 to 70 year old women who had osteoporosis they had some quite severe you know kind you know regression in their bone health they started them on a strength building um routine and the results were astounding they got strong they actually reversed their markers they um, started reversing their their issues and uh and they all got strong at that that age um so i guess i would encourage you to if you really want to get involved in this um Go to a gym that's going to have trainers or get a personal trainer that is going to be able to support you uh, in, in learning to do this properly. Um, and you can obviously start from like lighter weights and just build up like anything. Uh, no difference to endurance like learning to run. You would start in a smaller, you know, running course and build that running pace up or the time of duration up. No different with strength, strength training. The thing is, we want to be doing kind of five to six reps, I suppose, heavy, like heavy. So, you know, that's going to be different for everyone. Um, okay, for example, I'll give you an example. I do lots of strength training. So on the weekend, I was doing five reps of back squats at 80 kilos. Um, you know, so that's well more than my body weight. And I did five sets of that. So that is kind of the, you know, a five by five program, like five reps times five sets, and you would have a decent amount of rest in between those. Now, you're not going to go and start doing super heavy weights straight away. Uh, you're going to build up to that. And I, the same, like I do this every, you know, week. Um, so it is something that I build on. And I have done this for a number of nine years now. So um, please don't just go and try and lift, you know, like super heavy. Uh, get either into a gym, get with a trainer, get some guidance, um, start and progress that way. But really important, um, you know, for just building muscle. Uh, muscle then affects our metabolism. 
that's going to affect if you've had the, the menopausal belly fat show up, that's going to affect your ability to get rid of your belly fats or extra weight that we're carrying. Um, and it's something really that we need to be doing like net, like we, we don't really want to stop it. You know, we want to keep doing it if you want to live a long, healthy life where you um, are around for a long time. I was messaging with um, someone today and their father's sick and I remember when my, my grandmother uh, was in a nursing home and, you know, every time I went to visit her, I just saw this wastage of muscle, you know, and, and clearly these people are at the end stage of their lives. And it made me so motivated to go and build muscle and preserve it because if you can maintain muscle mass and strong healthy bones, when you do fall, because here's a alarming statistic, and I thought it was quite alarming, from the age of 65 plus, when you fall and say you, for example, you fall and you break your hip, you have a 35% chance of mortality within a year. I just thought that was like an alarming result. So if you can improve your bone health, your muscle health, when you fall, when you're older, you are going to have a way better chance of recovering and not dying within a year after that incident happening to you. So um, I know that this isn't this is kind of like we're talking <laughs> from from now through menopause to like the end of life but I don't know about you guys I plan to be around here for like a long time I say this to my family all the time I'm like you're stuck with me forever I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I'm gonna be living a long time because basically the money I'm putting in the bank now for the strength training and the exercise and the, the good food I'm eating is is all setting me up for like living for a long time <laughs> so they better get used to it um so hopefully um I, look I, I don't have a lot too much more to add there's lots of studies that have been done so maybe i can link some of the research in the comment section for you guys to check out um showing like the different you know how weight weight bearing um, exercise really makes a difference and an impact on the stage that we're in. Uh, I personally obviously know it, you know, I can tell you I'm living proof that I started CrossFit at 40, I'm 49 now, obviously I've been in menopause for four or five or perimenopause for four or five years now and it is definitely serving me well, you know, having the extra muscle, being able, I haven't lost any so I will tell you that. Um, you know, I'm basically putting it on hold, the whole, uh, the whole, um, you know, you know, I guess like what happens is they say you're fighting losing muscle. So I'm putting that on hold. Um, uh, recent DEXA scan showed a very, very similar uh, muscle mass to five years ago, which is awesome. And that's kind of what we want to do, right? We want to be we want to be able to preserve our health and move forward in, in a positive direction. So I'll um, pull up a couple of studies that you guys can dive into if you want more research around it. If you, um, like I said, if I'm not a PT, I, uh, I'm, I'm like a CrossFit Masters athlete, so I, I do all the exercise, I don't teach it or coach it, uh, but I would recommend getting with someone who can, you know, help you on your journey. Um, to be able to, you know, start lifting some weights and getting some strength in your body. Uh, you will thank yourself for it, I promise you, and you will actually feel a lot better too. Uh, you know, I know personally, it, I guess it, it makes me much more confident being able to, you know, lift things and, and be self-sufficient. Um, so I do know it will affect your confidence as well. So. I, love, I would love to hear if you already partake in uh, strength-based exercise or weightlifting, weight training, um, or just, you know, any type of um, heavy lifting, please let us know in the comments. That would be amazing. If you have a friend or someone who would also like to tune into this, please share it with them. And I just um, thank you in advance for subscribing. I do appreciate people just sharing and, and subscribing 
the reason that I share kind of my journey with men, uh, managing my menopause naturally is so other people can tune in who also want to give this um, a try. And, uh, you know, I think it's really important to share our journeys and connect with each other. So by subscribing, it really does support and allows other people to find the information that we're talking about. So I hope you've had an amazing week um, and this is finding you really well. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.